Castlevania was one of my very first games I played on the Nintendo Entertainment System growing up. I love the franchise, I love the classic 2D Castlevanias, and so in today's video I'm going to be showing you a brand new homebrew, and this is for the Intellivision. What? That's right. 1979 console and what Intellivision Revolution is offering is simply amazing. This is Intellivania and this is a new homebrew coming out and this is a reprogrammed version of the original Castlevania and it is stunning. I'm going to do an unboxing today and show you some gameplay footage. Let's check it out. I purchased this months back from Intellivision Revolution and the uh, attention to detail that, that goes into these projects is second to none. Look how awesome this box looks. Comes in a gatefold box like the original releases for Intellivision. And as you open it up, there is an amazing instruction manual and it even includes the overlays. That is awesome. Uh, the overlays don't do too much for this game. Uh, but, they, but they look amazing with that artwork. Oh my gosh. So yes, there's three difficulty settings in this game and it's the whole Castlevania game. I want to say that again. Everything's here and more. Oh my goodness. And so great manual goes over, you know, facts about the game. Nothing more, nothing less. Control goes into enemies. And I really like that. I like a, a manual that just kind of everything you need to play the game really, really looks like, uh, you know, professionally made. The box is super glossy and high quality. Here's the cartridge. If you haven't seen an Intellivision cartridge, this is what they look like. And so here we go, let's check out the game. The three difficulty settings are as easy as pressing one, two, or three on the disc controller. Here we go. Even has the original opening. So awesome. Great music too. So it starts out, you know, you upgrade your whip. You'll find various items along the way. Some are hidden. As you progress, you'll find secondary weapons. That's the dagger. You utilize it by pressing up and attack. And the control, if you've played nothing but like Nintendo games, it's going to take a little bit to get used to. You know, this is a very advanced game for the Intellivision. And so pressing jump and attack, there's a lot of those moves in this game it just takes timing and practice and so zombie the first enemy in the game followed by the black leopards and so they are pretty tricky money bags give you points the different colored dollar signs are just for points what i also like about this game is that there's no timer and so you have uh you can take a leisure amount of time to progress and that is super helpful because you're going to need it. I'm using the holy water to take out the black leopards. Those secondary weapons come in really handy and it's a lot of strategy to determine whether or not to keep a secondary weapon because you can only hold one at a time. The hearts that you find along the way give you one extra shot per weapon and the large hearts give you five extra shots per weapon. So definitely worth picking those up as it's good to use a secondary weapon typically during a boss fight and different secondary weapons are more useful than others the cross takes out all enemies on the screen i'm just blown away by how well this has translated on an intellivision it's just great all the enemies there's even all the secrets there's a pork chop and that uh, regains your life. This part coming up is typically tricky. And like the original Castlevania, when you get hit, you do get knocked back. That's kind of a, a common feature in a lot of Castlevanias. All right, I got the clock. And the clock will stop time and stop enemies. Very useful especially for annoying enemies. I'm getting out of here. This is so well done. Bats. Not the most annoying flying enemy. I'm going to show you that soon. So 
Dress here. Really nice music. All right. That is invincibility. So you have invincibility for uh, a limited amount of time. Can't get hit. So that flashing number there, that's your life. So instead of having a life bar on this, they had, they had to... Uh, Make some small sacrifices to make this work. I mean, the the amount of uh, collaboration and you know input on this game, I, I I can't even imagine. I know that this was on display at Portland Retro Gaming Expo years back, so it's really nice to see it come here. This is the Phantom Bat, as mentioned in the instruction manual. I'm using the Axe secondary weapon. starting to flash if you start flashing red then that means your life is low stage passed there is a score in this game for people that are interested in that and you go on to the next level as you see all the levels are represented here simply amazing there is a password entry screen so you don't have to play this in one sitting uh, once you die, you get a password, and then you can move on, uh, write it down, take a picture, however you want to record it. And here is the second stage. The boomerang, one of my favorite secondary weapons. The control is good. It just takes a little bit to get used to. So if you haven't used a disc controller. Um, I have added a stickler to my uh, Intellivision controller. It's like a joystick mod that you can do. It's a third party thing and I, I like it. I'm a fan of, of joysticks and joystick controllers. And so I've used that to add to my Intellivision to play it. I am playing on original hardware. It is an AV modded Intellivision and that's what I'm using to capture footage using an Elgato. So yes, this is just uh, blowing my mind that they were able to fit the entire Castlevania game in. One of the most hated enemies of many, the Medusa Head. Ugh. <laughs> I played the original Castlevania, I think around 1987. My father rented our original NES, and that was one of the first games I played. It's funny, what was the first NES game you played? Medusa heads are annoying as ever. They're in an S pattern, and so you have to avoid them. It's just timing. Can't tell you how many times I died from those things. All right, this next part's pretty tricky. If you touch those to the left there, you will die instantly. So avoid them, it's just timing. Graphics are really amazing on this. So if you're an Intellivision fan and you like these aftermarket homebrews, you're in for a treat. DK Arcade is another one of my favorites. It's a Donkey Kong Arcade remake. I've showed that on my channel. I also show, have shown Donkey Kong Jr. on its own video. The Dragon Skulls. All right, let's see how far I can go. All right, this is fun. Medusa heads. Boomerang is really helpful right here because you can launch a boomerang and pick up all those easily. All right, got to the Queen Medusa. Let's see if I can take her out. Holy water works pretty good. Oh, oh, yes. Success. All right, I'm a pretty good run here.
And on to the next stage. I love that it shows you walking and it shows the map. That's awesome. Really cool. And here's stage three. Having a pretty good game. All right, Hunchbacks. Oh, Hunchbacks, another annoying enemy. Well done here. I love the music of Stage 3, one of my favorites. And the good news is, as of the posting of this video, it is still available, 60 bucks. The link will be below to their store. They offer many other Intellivision homebrews. I'm just blown away. It, it plays great, it looks great, sounds great. It is the whole Castlevania game as well. I just showed you the first three stages. What did you think? Comment below. And as always, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell if you like what you see as I upload videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's stay positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.